Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a short recap of the latest Season 1 news. What is good, what is bad, what are people upset about, what are people happy about. I'm going to talk about this in a few minutes. If you want to see the full video with the latest updates and changes, make sure you check out this video from yesterday where I actually go through the entire patch notes and try to dissect the most important things. This video is going to be shorter. I will try to squeeze in all the necessary information in a few minutes for your convenience. If you do like this video, make sure you support my channel by subscribing or maybe even liking the video. I would really appreciate that. And let's get to it. We can finally see and check out Haley. Haley is a descendant that is a chill descendant with her skills and with her antimatter sniper. She is going to wreck some bosses and do a lot of damage overall i do think that Haley is actually going to be an interesting descendant however there's a lot of people that actually don't want to invest in normal descendants and would rather wait for the ultimate version if you're one of these people let me know in the comments below would you actually go and build Haley on day one the other update that we're getting is invasion dungeons and th these are going to be a separate mechanic added to the dungeons this is going to be on a daily basis we will have two different dungeons that are going to be on a rotation and you have you can clear out those dungeons twice per day per dungeon this means that you can um, have some fun over there it's going to be a solo run that's that means that it's going to be a solo challenge for you I'm absolutely hyped about this one. I think this is going to be fun. This is also going to in introduce new mechanics, also a new setup. The dungeons are going to be also a combination of different mechanics and places, which makes this even more interesting. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And not only that we're going to have a lot of fun with the mechanics, we're also going to get some exclusive rewards that are going to drop from those invasion dungeons. They're also introducing season growth as a mechanic, so a season pro seasonal progression system, which will be based on iron heart particles that we will be able to collect from doing those invasion dungeons. And we will be able to also update, upgrade certain skills that are either going to boost our base stats or are going to boost our survivability or even we will gain some different additional perks for these evasion um, dungeons, which is awesome. However, keep in mind that this is going to be a season exclusive perk. Um, those are going to be seasonal exclusive skills and will not carry over to season two and so on. Now, the bad news is and it's more of a sad news, not that bad, not much of a bad news, but everyone was expecting Ultimate Freyna to hit live servers with season one immediately on the 29th of October. Unfortunately, they have decided to actually release Ultimate Freyna in the end of October, on the 30th of October. That's two months from the release of season one. And everyone is super upset about this. Hopefully the developers actually change their minds and push Reina a little bit earlier because the majority of the fan base really wanted to see Ultimate Freyna in action me including i actually even prepared for ultimate freyna i built two weapons for her i have a normal freyna maxed out i was very very hyped and yesterday i was really upset to see that they actually will release her in two two months of time the other update that will come in a month after uh season one starts we will see the new intercept boss or new hard boss that we are going to be fighting that stalker he is going to be According to the information, one of the most difficult fights that we will ever see. So I'm very curious to see what kind of mechanics he's going to introduce. How are we going to fight this? And how many people will he kill in the beginning? Yep, we had some issues with Morton Fortress. We had some issues with Frostwalker. We had some issues with Tony. I mean, Glutony. And let's see now, Deathstalker is going to clap us. He's going to slap us. This was a little bit of footage about the gameplay, about the new mechanics and about other stuff that have been introduced. However, I want to highlight two more important changes that are coming in. Uh, and by the way, here is also uh, the timeline of the changes that are going to be kicking in. Again, as I mentioned, October 30th is where we are going to see Ultimate Freyna, uh, as well as some new Ultimate modules. Highest difficulty, another difficulty for Dungeon is going to be introduced as well um and a new 
vendor that will be selling ex uh, ultimate blueprints, ultimate descendant blueprints, and we will be able to see this vendor um, like a secret vendor in Albion. We will be able to see and, and check out this vendor October 30th. With that being said, I just want to scroll over here to one very, very important uh, change, which is this over here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super hyped about this change. I think this is going to give and show us and actually introduce a lot of um, diversity into us making our new builds for the descendants. So in, other, in a couple of words, if I can summarize this, they're basically adding us the ability to actually reassign um, other crystallization catalysts to the same slot basically making it so that when we assign a new crystallization catalyst so let's say let's say i want to come here and i want to assign a new crystallization catalyst to one of the slots that i've already assigned so let's say i want to change the r into an a right i could override it to an a and it will actually remember that the previous decision that i actually had for this slot is going to be an r and I will be able to swap back and this is going to be um, a setup where I will be able to reuse the old slots that I've already crystallized before that. And it will give me flexibility to change the slots, which is an amazing, amazing, amazing change. This will give us the opportunity with just in a couple of additional um, crystallization catalysts invested in each build will give us so much flexibility. I'm super hyped about this change. I really hope they introduce this. There's also a ton of other changes here to Blair's um, uh, kits and transcendent modules. Same for Jaber. Like I said, I don't want to go in much into details. Into details, I went yesterday in the video over there. If you want to watch the whole thing, make sure you click that video and check out the whole update. Now, with that being said, those are the changes. I'm hyped about season one. I really hope we will survive until the 30th of October in terms of content. We will be able to have enough things to do in this game until Ultimate Freyna comes out. So let me know in the comments below. What are you most excited about? Are you excited about? I appreciate you watching so far. I'll see you in the next video.